Hello, my name is Jenny Osborne and I'm a specialist health visitor for children with additional needs and I'm here today to talk a little bit to you about the role of the health visitor. So the health visitor is part of a wider team of healthcare professionals and we have a very big role in leading the Healthy Child Programme. And the Healthy Child Programme is a series of contacts that all families are offered and it is an opportunity for you to talk to your health visitor about any worries or concerns that you might have about the health and development of your child. As I said, everybody is offered the Universal Healthy Child Programme and these happen when you're pregnant, we have an antenatal contact when your health visitor will come and talk to you. For some families, this might be an opportunity to talk about any concerns that you have about your baby before your baby's born. So some children, for example, who may have been diagnosed with a health condition in utero, the health visitor will be able to talk to you about your worries and concerns about that. After you've had your baby, your health visitor will come back and see you again between 10 and 14 days and then at six weeks and then when they're a little bit older, around about one year and then again at two years. And at these routine developmental reviews, this is often an opportunity when families will raise concerns about their child's health and development. In addition to families raising concerns about their children's health and development, the health visitor also has an important role in the early identification of any health and developmental problems that your child might be having. So even as a parent, if you're not aware that your child has got any problems, the health visitor will often be the first person who may raise concerns, whether it be about your child's development, maybe their speech isn't coming on as well as it might be, or they're not walking, or any any of a whole range of issues around health and development, health visitors do play a very strong part in the early identification of need. They don't have a specialist role um, around these needs. What they will do is they will refer on to more specialist services. So if you have any concerns or if the health visitor has any concerns, they will refer in to a wide range of other professionals. Another very important role um, of the health visitor for children who have more complex needs, often families can feel quite bewildered and slightly overwhelmed about the range of different professionals that can be involved with your child. The health visitors can often play a role in helping to coordinate teams of family to help bring everyone together to make sure that people are communicating effectively with each other and supporting you as a family in the way that you feel that you need support. So for example, if your child has got a very complex need and you've got lots and lots of different paediatricians involved, speech therapists, physiotherapists, a whole range of different professionals, educational professionals, and you feel as though you're constantly repeating yourself, you're telling the same story over and over again, and that nobody seems to be communicating with each other, then I really would strongly recommend that you speak to your health visitor and you ask them to pull together what we call an early help plan, or in some areas it can be called a common assessment framework, and ask your health visitor to do this. And what that will mean is that it will bring together all of the people involved with you and your family on a regular basis and will give you the chance to talk in a very relaxed way and make sure that everybody's communicating and meeting your family's needs well. In addition to these things, Health Visitors also offer additional packages of care to families who may need extra support. So outside of the universal service, which is the set contacts that I mentioned a little earlier, if you're struggling with some aspects of um, your chat with your children, you may, for example, um, be having some difficulties toilet training your child, um, you may have some problems getting your children to sleep well at night. These are quite common difficulties that children with additional needs can sometimes present with and often families just need a little bit of extra help and support and advice to help them make these problems a bit easier. So please don't feel that you can't speak to your health visitor about these issues. If she's not able to help you, she will certainly be able to point you in the direction of somebody who can give you that support. Health visitors as well work very, very closely with a huge range of other professionals. We often know 
exactly where to direct people to in the community so if you're just feeling a bit fed up a bit lonely and you maybe you just want to go along to some parent groups often your health visitor would be the person who would be able to direct you exactly where to go they might be able to give you support um, around accessing different benefits that you might be eligible for um, or even just to sit and have a chat with you if you're feeling that things are quite tough and you're struggling to cope with your own health and well-being. The health visitors have a very, very broad role when it comes to addressing health issues of the whole family. So whilst, yes, your child is absolutely the most important and central part of the work that we do, we understand that your child will not grow to be healthy and happy without a healthy and happy mum and dad and family network around them. So if you feel that you need to talk to somebody to keep you happy and healthy, then please do contact your health visitor because they can give you vital support with that as well.